Hey everybody from uh, Manor Hill, North Carolina. We are going to stop here today and have lunch at a place we've been to before. It has been about two years, uh, and that's the Bayou Smokehouse. We always end up at the Bayou Smokehouse when we do a snow drive up to Beach Mountain. So uh, the town of Banner Elk uh, is right at the foot of Beach Mountain. It's the home of Lees McRae College. It's also home of the Bayou Smokehouse. So uh, we like to go in here because uh, the owners, uh, from what I understand, are husband and wife. She's from Louisiana. He's from Texas, or maybe I have that backwards, but their menu features a lot of Texas style things like brisket and barbecue, and also some Cajun things from Louisiana. So pretty varied menu. We like going in here. Um, so as you can see, the, the snow is still falling. Not as much on the ground down here as there was up on Beach Mountain, but uh, it's still coming down pretty good. I think she was in <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're gonna go inside and have lunch here at the Bayou Smokehouse in Manor Elk, North Carolina. So go with us. So the Bayou Smokehouse is located in this little, I don't know what you call it, a little plaza-like thing. Um, they got an ice cream shop here, a pet grooming. There's, uh, I'm not really in the mood for any ice cream today. Uh, so you walk down through here. If you, if you come here when it's there's snow on the ground, be very careful because this sidewalk is slick. Yeah. It's not right now. It's it just wet. Awesome. Yeah, it can be. Arcade hot dogs. Yep, arcade hot dogs. And on the left, there's a Sorrento's Italian Bistro, which we've not tried. Oh, I like, actually, I like it. I've never noticed that before. Look at that, how it's just covered with the vines on there. Oh, yeah, look at the outdoor seating. Yeah, that's, that's neat. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but right here's where we're going on the right because we have another $25 off coupon. Uh, we've used two here. We have a total of four. So, anyway, we're going to go in Bayou Smokehouse, and there's... Uh, around the front here, this little outside eating area, which nobody's utilizing today. Looks like they might have little, I don't know, bands, performances here. I'm going to get out of the way because they're starting to play music and I don't want to copyright hit, so let's go. We actually entered into a different door this time than usual. I went around the side of the building, so uh, looks like they're pretty crowded today. Okay, so let's go over this menu really quick. Uh, Shaughnessy's usual when she comes here is the voodoo pasta. Um, I don't know that she's going to get that today or not. But like I say, it's a lot of Texas and Louisiana style stuff. So we'll go over this for y'all watching, and then I'm going to figure out what I want. Probably should have started with this side first. These are the appetizers. I actually just grabbed it. So. That's the menu. Okay, well, um, we're finished up here at the Bayou Smokehouse. Um, so this is probably our shortest restaurant review ever, unless I talk a lot, which I may do right yeah, now. And there wasn't even any food to show. Right, we didn't show you the food because there wasn't any except for the appetizer. We'll get to that. So Bayou Smokehouse, Banner Elk, North Carolina. This has been for years our favorite stop. In fact, this is probably our only stop that we've ever made in Banner Elk to eat. Mm -hmm. uh, when we would come up for snow days at Beach Mountain, we would always stop here. Mm -hmm. uh, been here several times. A few years back, since we had already liked the place, I'll let you tell this part about restaurants.com. So you go ahead and start with that and kind of just tell what uh, led up to the issue today. Okay, so um, apparently back in 2021, um, and I don't remember how I found it, but restaurants.com had um, a special where you could go on there and buy um, four $25 gift certificates, and I'm wanting to say it was like $20. And of course, then you go on restaurant.com and look through the restaurants and see who accepts their cards, or their, yeah, their gift cards, and it's all through an app on your phone, restaurant.com. Bayou Steakhouse was one of the restaurants. Smokehouse. I'm sorry, Smokehouse, was one of the restaurants. And since I knew this is summer we like to come, especially yeah. on snow days, I thought... It made sense. Perfect. You know, I've got basically $100 worth of gift cards for 20 bucks. Or coupons, yeah. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah, I so thought it was we a deal. Had, yeah, we had been here probably three or four times uh, in total. I think maybe two times prior to you getting those coupons because we knew we'd be coming here. Yeah. So... We have used them twice here. The first time we, we had a little issue with them being able to get it to run, but they did finally. I think she just didn't know how. To. Yeah, I think the second time we had no issue at all. So we're back today. Just came off uh, Beach Mountain uh, for the snow. Decided we're gonna stop in here. One of the things I really like about this place, liked, is uh, that the sides, they had a side that was very unique. It was zucchini fries. 
And you, if you watch our previous two reviews here, at least one of them, I think in both of them, I got the zucchini fries and just ranted and raved and went on and on about how good they were. Uh, one of the better things I ever had is for, I, I like them better than French fries. They were so good here. So today, um, you notice that the menu here is now not the same as it was. Much smaller. So we had to go back and look at our last review here from two years ago. And sure enough, that was a full menu. You open it up, different pages. This is basically just a front and back laminated sheet. So they have really carved the menu down, okay? Um, there were also listed then, our last visit here, 12 sides. Uh, this time there's only eight. I didn't do a side-by-side -side comparison of which ones are and which ones are not, but the one that I like, the zucchini fries, is not. So you can no longer get that as a side. So that was disappointing. Um, but the guy says you can get it as an appetizer. So I said, okay. I said, I really like them. I'm gonna, since we got the coupon, I'm gonna go ahead and get them as an appetizer. Uh, and what it was, you don't just get the, the fries as the appetizer, you get them, it's uh, zucchini fries and fried mushrooms. They're all just, they come out in a bowl and they're all in together, so. And we like both. Yeah, we like both, so I said, okay. I will say that even though we did get that today, we got the appetizer, I didn't show it to you because honestly, just was in a hurry to get done. Um, the, I will say, just in fairness, the deep fried mushrooms were good. The zucchini fries were as good as I remembered. But since they're combined with mushrooms, you don't get as many of the fries. There was not many fries in there, mm -hmm. honestly. So, and for fourteen dollars, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So then we mentioned the coupon, and the guy says, "Well, we're under new ownership now, but I think they still are honoring that." So I said, "Okay." So I thought that's why I'm gonna, I went ahead and put the appetizer order in. I said, "Well, we, we'll be staying." So I was a little disappointed about the fries already. So, uh. Evidently, new ownership has come over there, and basically it's just like you see in a lot of places when new ownership takes it over, they make decisions that they think are great, and they run it in the ground. I think that's what's happening here. Um, they have lost two customers at least over this, us. So um, he comes back out and says, I'm sorry, we just quit accepting the coupons in January. Well, this is February. I said, okay, uh, is the owner here? Because I tend, honestly, I have conferences with people and things like this, because it's like you paid for those. Um, and there's new ownership, and they're still listed on the web, restaurant.com website as a restaurant. That was the kicker there. Uh, it's still listed. If it had been taken off, we couldn't have said a word. But restaurant.com was still showing it listed. So uh, the manager came out there, not the owner. The owner's not here today. So the manager come out, and she was very kind, just like our server was very kind. No, don't have any problems with the server or the manager that came out. She was apologetic, but she said, I am not permitted to honor them. She said, we've had other people mention this same issue, and the man, and the owner said, they're not doing it anymore. So I said, I told her, I said, well, um, what I would like for you to do, and I said, and I told her, I said, ma'am, this is not on you. I said, you're being very kind. We're not upset at you in any way. You, this is not your fault. I said, but I want you to tell your manager that uh, they've lost two customers because of this. I said, they're messing the place up. And we're gonna go ahead and pay for our appetizer and we're leaving and going somewhere else for lunch. So she said, I understand completely. I'm so sorry. And again, nothing she could do. We're not mad at her or the server, either one. Anybody it, there. Yeah. yeah. Um, but since the new ownership decided to take some of the best items off the menu and then not honor coupons that people have already paid for, uh, I cannot give this place a good review today even though the appetizer was good. I'm not just gonna sit here and be dishonest and say it wasn't, it was, but you got very few fries in there. Uh, the mushrooms were good, but I love the fries here. In fact, it was the zucchini fries here that caused uh, you to start looking online for a, a similar recipe. Yeah, that I've yet to be able to do. And we got zucchini fries somewhere else recently, and I do not remember where, but they were good, but they were not as good as, as here. So I was really looking forward to that here today, but honestly, the new owner, the new owner, uh, we're parting ways, so. Uh, that's that's my review of it. You want to say no, anything? No, I mean that's basically you know it is what it is. That's what I told him we were it sitting. It's what it is. I says you know so I guess this is our last time here. You yeah. know, and um, it is unless they change things. Yeah. So um, it's a shame, but oh well. So it's just the fact of those two places. things. Yeah, they have cut the menu down. It's just a front and back now. I, I'm not going to do a side by side comparison. Uh, they still did have what you usually get, I the usually voodoo pasta. I usually would get the voodoo pasta, which yeah. up until the very last time was always delicious. The I didn't last... notice if they had the smokehouse sampler that I usually I think get they did. Okay. I think they did. 
All right. Uh, but anyway, like I say, they went down from 12 sides to eight. One of those that got cut was the one that I thought was really a standout here. So now they charge you $14 just to get it. So, and there was not $14 worth of fries in that bowl. Um, or mushrooms. So yeah, right. it was just a little much. So maybe $10. Anyway, I'm sorry that I can't, I do not like to give reviews like this. I do not. Um, for those of you that think we do, you need to watch more of because about 98% of our reviews are completely positive. I will, let me say it's about 95 are completely positive. About 98 at least mentioned some good positive things that are overall positive. Uh, we just try to be honest. Yeah. Just try to be honest. Well, I, 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 we're going to be honest. Yeah. So that's just the way it is. So anyway, Bayou Smokehouse, very disappointed. Probably not coming back. So anyway, um, we're, now we got to figure out where we are going to go. We're going to go to Blowing Rock or Boone and try something we So I guess the good part is we're going to get another restaurant review in today. So. Anyway, because I'm still hungry. Me too. All right. So anyway, uh, if you like this video, or I don't know if there's anything to like about it, but at least give it a thumbs up. That helps us a lot. Um, just like and subscribe. And find and follow us on Facebook. Have a blessed day.